Hey, what's going on? Hope you guys are having a good day or night. I have something incredibly important and awesome to share with you guys. Um, today, during the Discord chats, I was having a, a conversation with Alex from the Discord, and he shared this tool with me that he's been using that I found really, really awesome. Um, the main reason is it is kind of a bot, quote unquote, but you guys know my opinions on bots. I personally don't prefer them. Uh, one, if it's a completely automated bot that will spot ABCs for you or works off some other different strategy, you're not understanding the strategy. You're just letting something do it for you. Two, because you don't understand it, you can't help the bot in a certain way. Um, as well as that, bots can be quite glitchy, and when things move fast and violently, they can get out of hand. All right? So the one thing is, this is still a manual type of movement. You're still going to have to manage it and help it, okay? So once again, not a full-blown bot, but I think it's better than nothing, all right? Because I have missed trades in the past that have cost me money, and this is a paid uh, bot, right? It's about $20 a month, but in the description of this video, there is going to be a 10% off link if you use it, which I appreciate it if you do. It's a win-win situation. And this is something that I'm going to be using myself because I have definitely lost $20 at least to missing an entry, if not a ton more. All right. There was definitely one in particular that would have helped me out a lot. But let's go ahead and get into it. How do you set it up? What does it do for you? So this bot works hand in hand with TradingView in order to put trades onto your Bybit account, okay? So for example, let's say that I am trying to take this short ABC on XRP right now, all right? Once again, I'm not trying to play this small over time frame. I'm just using it as a quick example, okay? So this bot is very intelligent if you set it up correctly. Essentially, what it will do is it will not enter the trade as it goes above, but as it crosses back down below that horizontal resistance, it will enter the trade for you. And let's say that price action continues to go over and under this line, it will still trigger the trading view alert but it will not continuously re-enter with more margin than what you originally set up, okay? So instead of, you know, the first entry being $20, it's not gonna continuously trigger, and by the end of it, you wake up and you're at $100 short, and that's five times your risk. It's not gonna do that to you, unless you want it to. I'll get to that in a couple minutes as we get to setting that part up. But, you can also set up multiple levels to this, and as long as you use the same, the same string of code that you generate for the first short, it will actually do the same thing. It will not re-enter any more margin if the others get triggered. So you can actually have multi-layered, all right? So for example, if on a smaller time frame, I really wanted to catch an, uh, an XRP short, you know, we had a small time frame ABC right here, which gave us this level, and then we had a you know, medium time frame ABC right here, which gave us this level. And then obviously the larger time frame here, which gave us this level. I could enter the short parameters on that first horizontal resistance, and then it will try to enter. And then unless I get stopped out, listen very closely, unless I get stopped out, it will not re-enter any of the other ones, okay? So if I enter this short here, and then price goes up, unless I'm stopped out, it will not re-enter from here. So you would probably want to have a stop loss that's able to kind of bounce off of it. So 1%, you would get stopped out, and then that trading view alert would trigger, and then you would be put into that one. All right? So how do you do this? Let's go ahead and get everything set up so we can get rocking and rolling. So we're going to be using this example here from this top of this A. All right? We're gonna go over here to the, to the right side of the screen. Let me move my camera out of the way. And usually you would have your coin list over here. Underneath of that, you'll see a little clock icon. If you click on that, and then right here, hit create alert, or while just anywhere on your screen, hold alt and press A, 
it will bring up a create alert screen. Now you want to go ahead and underneath of XRP or whatever coin you're trading, the two ones that matter to us are crossing up and crossing down. Okay. So for short, we're going to be using crossing down for longs. We're going to be using crossing up. And what that means once again, is if the price is coming up past that level, it will not trigger the alert. It's only when it gets above it and then comes back down, which is exactly what we're looking for for ABC patterns. Right here, value, we're going to go ahead and put in where that, where that if this and that statement is. So 39.79. And then options, we're going to go ahead and click on every time. That way you don't have to restart the alert. It just basically means it will monitor to make sure that it is constantly watching that area for crosses. All right. This will also be in the description as well. Alerts.tvhub.org. All right. You need to paste this in after checking webhook URL. And then you're good to go. Delete whatever is in the message box and we'll get to what you need to do with that next. Leave this open. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to trading view, uh, uh, trading view hub. We're going to click on the buy bit exchange. And I know this can be confusing at first. There's a lot to go through here, but just please try to follow along. If this interests you, we're going to stay on the futures. All right. It confused me at first too. I would live rather say derivatives, but underneath of that, you're going to go ahead and select what pair you're trading. So XRP USDT for this example. We are selling short, okay? And then you have use absolute value, use percent of available balance, or use percent of wallet, or use percent risk, okay? I have to use absolute value just because of how this is working, all right? Right now with the challenge portfolio, over 40% of my equity is profit. Now that profit is hedged, so it's not going anywhere, but it's technically not available, okay? And when I check use a percent of wallet, it's going based off of the wallet size, not the equity, which is what I would prefer to use. So we have to use absolute value. Don't worry about using the units box here. Not your worry, okay? We're gonna stay on market because this is, this is essentially a market conditional, okay? Don't worry about putting in a price point because we're doing that with the alert. And then right here, your cost is what your margin size is. So obviously refer to the calculator, whatever your personalized risk setup is, you're going to be using the margin size right here. I'm doing a test with this bot and I've already done a couple tests, but I'm going to leave this trade open to see how it works going forward. But my margin size for this trade is going to be $20. So I go back and I put in $20, make sure I click on used a fixed size. Now you do have to be concerned with this. If, our, if you're using a small stop loss and constantly getting stopped out, your account equity is going to be falling as you get stopped out. So you do need to adjust your margin size every so often in order to fit, okay? Because once again, if you're losing money, you need to reduce your risk because your risk is according to what you have, not what you had. Make sure you're doing that right underneath of the cost. You have a leverage. It's just a slider right here. So I'm using 17 X leverage. Isolated underneath of that. I check that. Don't worry about using a DCA, not our concern, not the ABC strategy, and then go ahead and check over stop loss. Now the stop loss is based off of real chart data. So typically the calculator would be using a 50% stop loss on margin and then whatever stop loss <coughs> you personally have set up. So I'm using a 3% stop loss. So I go over here and I type in 3%. Okay. And to make sure you have use percent checked right here. I know it's kind of hard to see maybe on this, but hopefully you guys are following along. And then right here, you can also add a trailing stop loss. Once again, not personally something that I like. So I will not be turning it on. You can also add, take profits. Once again, 
ABC is a spectrum. I get that there is different ways to play it and that some people um, feel more comfortable taking profit. I think what I'm doing with the way that I'm proceeding is more stress-free, but go ahead, be my guest, take profit if necessary, all right? This is probably the most important thing that you need to have checked, prevent pyramiding, okay? It's exactly what I was talking about earlier, where if price is going over and under this line, if you do not have prevent pyramiding checked, it will continuously add margin, okay? We wanna get entered one time, and unless we get stopped out, we don't want it to do anything else. So you need to have prevent pyramiding checked, all right? None of the other checks here really are of any interest to me. Uh, maybe in the future, it might be a thing. But after you have all of that done, go ahead and hit generate. It's gonna give you this piece of code here. Go ahead and hit copy. And we're gonna take that piece of code and throw it into the message box of our alert, okay? Once again, you can also set up um, you know, your alert to go on for several days. That way, you don't have to constantly keep resetting it. And then we hit create. And then from there, it's gonna go ahead and create this orange dotted line. And if we go above it, it will not trigger. If we go back down after going above it, it will trigger. It will send it to our uh, buy bit and will be entered. So now um, this is like the last step. This is how you get it all set up in terms of how do you get it to work with Bybit. Once you're on the Bybit tab here, go to add API key. Click on add API key over here. Choose the exchange, type in Bybit. Name it what you want, challenge portfolio. And then on Bybit, you're gonna go up here, hover over your profile, click on API. Hit create new key, connect to third party application right here. And then type in TV hub. It should pop up almost immediately. Down here, click it to read uh, and write. Check the boxes order, positions, and derivatives API v3. And that should be all that needs to be checked. All right, if you're using USDC, you might have to click on USDC contracts. But other than that, you should be good to go. You can also set this up with spot trading, but I haven't done that myself, so I can't really give you any information about that. And then you're going to go ahead and hit submit. You're going to have to go through a verification process. Once you complete this verification process, it's going to give you your API and your secret. Remember, your secret will only de uh, be displayed one time. That is when you set this up. So do not click out of it until you have everything copied to TV Hub, and then you can go ahead and hit confirm and let it go. But that should be it, guys. Uh, let me know if there's any questions, and I'll once again, I'll be on stream at some point, and if you have any questions about how this works or what might be something that I missed, let me know. But I think this is really awesome. Like I said, I, I've i had situations where I miss trades because I, I just slept a little bit too long, and this is really gonna help me prevent them. It is paid. There's a seven-day free trial, so you might as well try it out. If you like it and you think it's worth the value, all right, it's $20 a month, 10% discount in the description, but... I definitely would have saved money if I would have used this. So I appreciate it, guys. I I can't thank you guys enough. Like this, this happens all the time. Um, people from the community help each other out. You know, you, we put together the risk reward calculator with help from the community. We've put together a trading simulator. And now someone has come up to me and shared how to set this up. And I'm just giving back to you guys. So I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you in stream soon. And if you guys are watching the premiere video, hello, I love you. You guys are real ones. But uh, all right, guys, have a good night or good day. I'll see you soon. All right, bye-bye.